So just highlight for the last year, and then I want to go back and give you some more detailed information about the journey, but just brief highlights this last year, just to sort of tickle your interest and see how many people are suffering from the same problems that I did this last year. So a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, I got COVID for the first time. And uh, as many of you know, uh, and many of you have experienced, I was very, very sick. Uh, there were about 17 of us that got it at the same time. And, um, and I was very sick. There were a few of us that got sick. Um, I had a lot of respiratory issues. I had intense headaches, um, intense fatigue and uh, it was a very, very difficult process for me. Um, I actually was kind of surprised. I'm, I'm in really good health. I'm actually one of the healthiest people that I know. Uh, I practice all aspects of, of good, positive, preventative health. And so frankly, I was just a little bit shattered that I was so sick. Um, but anyway, I, I got better in December of last year and then come January 1st, I literally hit the wall. I had really intense long what what we know now as long covid symptoms um, i was having to take naps several times a day uh, i started experiencing really significant um, multi-area body pain uh, my hair was falling out uh, i was having problems with skin issues rashes itching burning shingles reoccurrent shingles um, I, I actually didn't know what what I was gonna do or what was going on. That lasted, and I'll give more information about long COVID because I've learned a tremendous amount this last year about it and developed many protocols to help treat people. But that went on until uh, July, uh, so many months of feeling that way, some days much worse than others. Um, also experiencing a tremendous amount of uh, emotional stress with work and building a home and all sorts of other things that were going on. Um, the high, I have to say the highlight of my whole year was my uh, daughter, Jordan, had a baby. Her name's Winnie, and she literally breathed life into my body. Uh, I think it must be all of the endorphins and oxytocin that I get when I hold her. So that was like the highlight of my year and probably what saved me. But anyway, it went on until July. and. I developed, as I said, many protocols during that time to try to treat some of these symptoms and people that just couldn't get back after either a vaccination or, or having COVID or a combination of both. And uh, it was just such an interesting journey and really challenging. In July, I went to uh, Utah and uh, visited with a very good longtime naturopathic friend of mine who has specialized in intense IV treatments for people that have autoimmune disorders. Now, of course, long COVID, which, which has exacerbated uh, autoimmune disorders in people or started them in people. Um, and I was there for two weeks, got seven to 10 IV treatments a day, and a whole host of other treatments that I'm gonna talk about in these videos, and it was miraculous. I literally turned completely around with my symptoms. All of my symptoms were gone when I left the last day after two weeks of treatment. Uh, I was uh, pain-free, my brain fog was gone, my energy was back, I felt amazing. I was so happy and so grateful and thankful that he was there to help me. Uh, I learned a lot more about um, autoimmune disorders and I actually thought I knew quite a bit. Um, you know, One Peak Medical specializes in preventative medicine and certainly is autoimmune disorders is something that we encounter all the time in our practice and have protocols for people with autoimmune disorders, but this is different. Long COVID is like waking up everything that you ever had uh, times a million uh, for some people, and I was one of them. So I got better, which was amazing, and, um, and then I went on to get more sick. So I'm going to tell you about that. I want to give you I want to give you some detailed information on what has happened most recently um, after I got back in August uh, from the long COVID treatment in Utah. I also want to let you know that I am going to be doing some personal consults for people who have long COVID. 
for people who are experiencing uh, other issues with their health um, and don't feel like they've been able to get back. I have, as I said, I have a lot to share and a lot of interesting information, which has been very effective uh, for, for my journey and many other people's journey. So I'm gonna open up my schedule. I haven't seen patients in four years now uh, because for One Peak Medical, I do the training of all the new medical providers in functional medicine and hormone optimization. And so there's no, no time to run a company and, and train medical providers. There's no time to actually see patients. But I've cleared my schedule for the next 60 days and I wanna open up to anyone that wants a consult with me about what to do and, um, and I will do that consult for you. I'm, I'm very passionate about getting people back and uh, if you want an appointment with me in the next 60 days to talk about your journey and your issues surrounding these subjects and the ones that I'm gonna talk about in the next couple of videos, please call our medical office or visit our web website, onepeakmedical.com.